Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues, in which we are playing as Ancapistan, also known as the Texan Arms Association. We've got quite a few comments to go through, but the secret meatloaf first. Recently, we've heard of a man who goes by the simple moniker T. He claims to be from a very faraway land we cannot find on any Old World maps. We pointed out from his description an ancient country of great warriors called Sweden. But it seems that it is not from where the mysterious T hails, judging by his extremely irritated expression. Regardless, the ghoul brings a secret with him. The best gosh darn homemade meatloaf recipe we've ever tasted and he wants to share. Somehow, some why, who cares? Let's take it. Our best grub grifters have adopted the famous recipe all throughout the country. Recently, groups have been making pilgrimages from even distant lands of foreign and exotic gods just have a taste. I hear he writes as well, Ooh, a little bit more caps. A country base node income. Yes, please. If we do want more money, yes, please. So, last time we have a bit of a crisis with roads in Ancapistan, but, you know, go figure. Let's see. See that mountain? Oh, that's not bad. Castle Direction. We did just finish up... Which one? The Science of Industry. Hmm. Fun extraction firms. Asset reinvestment. I love reinvesting my assets. One of the benefits of factories is that they can not only produce goods that sell, but goods that produce, too. By doubling our liquid assets into the more factories, we can get cracking even faster. So, like I said earlier, there's a lot of comments, in which I guess we could talk about the first one. I asked you guys yesterday whether we should use militia, we should convert them to infantry, should we use motorcycles, What? Where, where, should, where should we go down with our land doctrine? Should we use a lot more motorized infantry? So, here is the game plan I asked you guys yesterday. Should we use militia? Well, at this time, because we have quite a few militia divisions, someone recommends, or battalions I should really say, that we should... Stick with what we've got for now, and really, we should emphasize motorized a whole lot more. So, you know what? Let's do that. Let's emphasize motorized a whole bunch. Now, I don't want to overemphasize them, because they do cost a wee bit of cells. So, we'll use these guys to the best of our abilities, and we can afford that. Okay. And to future ventures, a proposal stamped in an official RRG lettering found its way onto Todd's desk early this morning. It was Gera offering the reinstating of government rule over the TAA for slightly more amicable terms and full pardons. Gera's proposal was simple. Instead of selling to the Legion, the TAA could sell to the many resistance groups in Legion territory, promoting Gera's foreign policy and their business as at the same time. Furthermore, Gera pointed out, if the rumors to the south were true, there might be more opportunities down Mexico way in the near future, opportunities which would require access to Rio's territory. It was an alright deal, not as good as before, but better than dying. The truth is, it was more of a choice between freedom, or the safety, than it was between clientele. We're not giving up our freedom? It's about time we give up the GOAT. Todd Howitzer becomes party, or a leader for the least party. Oh, we become a puppet? Mmm... Not here in Ancapistan, not in the TAA. This is Texas, I've got to remind these folks. And I'm going to actually hold this event for as long as I possibly can because we just upgraded the, our motorized and we don't have enough guns. So let's get some more guns first before we have to make it, uh, a decision here. We've already made our decision, but before we reply, we had a couple days, a little more than a week. Let's go and get some more money first. Cool, very good. And we use up a little bit more, more manpower, but that's okay. So, someone, actually, a couple of you guys recommend that I use tanks in this campaign. It's been a long time since I've actually used tanks in one of my campaigns, so we probably should. Let's see, True Grit, Infantry Equipment. Someone did recommend we, we should use this person first, so you guys said okay, so we'll use them anyways, why not? Alright, we got five days left. Every day can buy us a little bit more time, and anti-partisan stuff as well. How much money do we have? 89, Meh, that's, that's okay. Watch out for spies again. Four, three, Keep making more guns, guys. We need them right now, and we're not giving up our freedom. Okay, never mind. Just kidding. Come on in. See what you can do. We triple dog dare you. Just don't navally land here. Le you know, don't invade, please. <laughs> yeah. Ah, planes just in time. I didn't realize we would get into the war this quickly against the Republic of the Rio Grande, but you know, sometimes we just got to put down our enemies. Let's see, what do we want here? Vehicles? We want salvage motorcycles. That'd be great. We actually have at least e either the same amount of divisions they do, or we have more divisions. What would happen if I were to say, let's let's leave Eagle... Oh, let's not leave Eagle Pass. Whoopsie. My bad. Well, we got rid of our entrenchment. Whatever. Are you standing in the water, sir? Are you Jesus? Or Jesus? No, maybe, maybe there's a connection there. Maybe there is. It looks like he's in the water. Yeah, it looks like he's in the water. That, that doesn't bode well for who we're fighting. If, if our enemies can, you know, stand in the water, we got we got a problem. Oh, do you have any upgrades? Oh, look at that. That looks so bad. 
Woo. Hmm. Now let's double check because I did ask you guys yesterday and I already said that we shall be going down mechanized warfare because you guys recommended us to, even though we lose entrenchment. Whatever. We get some of the entrenchment back through our natural spirits, through our focuses, so. Uh, breakthrough. Does anyone get recon here, actually? No. Okay, then. So, we probably don't want to put any recon bonuses on our infantry, then. Or our divisions, period. So, let's come over here and look at our dudes and girls and whatever whatever else we have. Ooh, wait. Infantry tech and defense. Has that always been 3%? It might have been. Oh, what is that? Modifier army subunit security robot attack. I mean, that's different. Okay. Nerd Ragerinos. Ooh, 10% is not bad. Ninja. Give more recon, but if we're not going to get any recon, why should I use that? I'll probably go with nine person then. Sniper's not bad, but we'll use you. You guys. Oh, hello. Okay. I wonder when you were gonna go to war with us. That's fine. You know what? I can race one of you guys up there to help out too. Very good. Hopefully these guys don't fall. We did throw some infantry in there just in case. And actually, I think it's probably a good time for us to go ahead and do that. But we need just a little bit more political power. Political bribes. Conscription law cost. We could save some PP. And I love saving money. But we're spending money to save money. Hmm. Not bad. Let's go and do that. And asset reinvestment. We leave, they attack us. Not bad. Other comments though. Yeah, go mechanize warfare. We should get APCs. We probably should. APCs are fun. A lot of fun. A little thicker. Got a little bit more armor. Good stuff. Love them. Smoke signals. Cyrus was wounded. Oh, Custer. Oh, man. Please don't lead the charge, Custer. Oh, no, let's pick it. Don't have a picket. Lead a charge. Custer, though. Make sure he's always got Gatling guns. We still get 1.98 political power today, so pretty much two. I love asset reinvestments. De-industrial, or industrial water de-radiation. I do still want to get down here, but we could probably use better infantry equipment. Everything's bigger in Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas, guys, especially guns. Though, it makes them tough to manufacture. Who even cares? You know, don't mess with Texas. When I used to live in Texas, when you go to Whataburger, do they... they I think they had that. Everything's bigger in Texas or don't mess with Texas on the cups, if I do remember correctly. I wonder if they still have them on there, maybe. I haven't, haven't been to Whataburger in literal, literally over a decade. Wow. Anyways. Let's see. I'll talk about the intelligence agency's name soon enough, but I kind of want to see what happens around here. Looks like we're holding up pretty darn well. Especially defending on core territory is pretty good. Let's see. Get the True Grit Advisor. Well, I already had a schedule. We did. And I almost never use militia, so that's kind of why I'm kind of like, you know what, let's try to use them. They're probably not as good as infantry, but that's... Hello. Hello, free fighters. You claim to be free fighters, yet you're helping a tyrannical government oppose their will on us individuals in a voluntary state or nation of the Texan Arms Association. I don't believe you understand what free fighters actually mean. Hmm. Peculiar. Oh, oh, you guys have upgrades? Oh, yeah. Aqua Boy Girl. That is the one upgrade I wish you did not have. <laughs> not very useful, but that's alright. Uh, actually, don't come up there. I'm going to throw these guys up there for now, just because these guys are holding pretty darn well already, so. Actually, more entrenchment for walking infantry is pretty good. Let's grab some coordinated assaults. So, someone already put in the comments in the, in the first video of this campaign which support companies we should be using in this campaign. So, we'll probably go with, as the person recommended, grenades. We'll also get some miniguns, if we can get miniguns. Yes, uh, we, we live in Texas here. If we cannot get legal miniguns, is it really Texas? Is it really Texas? No, of course not. Oh, uh, we should probably get some anti-tank anti rifles too. Doggos, let's go. Uh, I want some healing powder too. Healing powder is really good. Let's see, go with ballistic weapons of course, get some grenades. Someone also recommended that I should do something different in this campaign and actually lend lease to other nations and help them <clears throat> fight for freedom, we'll say. This thing called freedom. Until they're under new management, of course, but that's not, not a bad idea. That's not actually a really, really good idea. Organization loss moving. Uh, sure, why not? That seems okay. Watch out for spies. Yes, especially those corporate spies. Other corporation spies. State spies. Oh, this is state. Actually, we should be doing pretty well. Oh, John Wigfall. Oh, look at that. Look at all this stuff. Tough leader. Yes. Yes. A thousand times yes. 
Now I don't have to pause the game nearly as much so we can let things go on. And we are mobilizing. Great. Let's see. Lend lease to other nations. Yeah, basically, what we're, when we're going to lend lease to other nations, we'll call that compensation or investment into their future. Yeah, totally. And yeah, trial militias. I think we already got through most of the comments, except for the intelligence agency name, which we'll get to in just a little bit. Shall not be infringed. Advanced weaponry. We don't actually need it right now. Yeah, right yet. We need more motorized and fighters. Interesting. Human can openers. That's not bad. As long as it's black. Hmm. Don't think I'm going to make a joke there, but let's go ahead and move on back to... Ooh, we have to be at peace for that. Oh, hasty fortifications. Well, if we actually do that... We'll get more militia. That might inspire the RRG to not attack us, but the dreaded hours come and the perfidious RRG comes spilling across the river, trying to breach the heart of her homeland. The first order of business is to throw together outposts and barricades anywhere along the river they could attack us from. Even without them, we're doing pretty darn well. Shall not be infringed is taking a hold here. That idea is taking a hold in uh, Texas. As it should. Let's see, what do we need? Uh, that's not, uh, uh, that stuff's not great. War measures, I love seizing on patriotism, but... Not looking super useful right there. Actually, how many men have we lost? Too many. That's a good... How many men have you lost? Too, way too many. They've lost not enough. They've only lost 1,500. we got to double our numbers. Internal stuff? Nah. Military signing bonuses look pretty good, but that costs money. Hmm. Procurement of things? Watch out for spies? Yeah, why not? Anti-partisan stuff? Just in case for the future? Yes, please. Warden declare well on the Hangdogs. I still gotta play as both of those nations. I actually have played as the Hangdogs before before they actually had a unique focus tree, so. Ooh, ooh, actually, Chief of the Air Force, that would actually be pretty good right now since we do. Oh, hello. Have, uh. I love Modras because they're so fast. But, um. We are making some planes. Actually, are we using planes yet? Do we build the. Oh, yeah, we did. Nice, look at that. Oh, then you're not doing anything, though. Well, that's not bueno. As they sometimes say down in Texas, bueno. Alright, at this point, I gotta throw you guys right here. Go ahead and leave. You guys are fast enough. You should be able to get out there fast enough. No, 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 right here, right here. There you go. Oh, well, they already won, so go figure. Hasty fortifications. They might stop attacking now, which is not good. Raise Gloria. Oh, baby. Oh, we're gonna raise part of Mexico? Oh, that sounds so American. Pipe guns. Petition Texas. The TWA petitions us for aid. We're going to arm the militias. Nothing else matters but survival right now. We need to ensure that able hands have able weapons as fast as humanly possible. But what do you mean? Every every person here, even like toddlers, should have guns. Encoded signals? Yeah, I don't mind if we do. That's a little bit ahead of time, but what else we got here? Construction. Let's grab some more clay working. We're figuring out how to use clay to build stuff. Wow. Even more motorized. Oh, Cyrus, you got anything? Custer, Custer, Custer. I um, mean, you still get more land out of tech. That's pretty good. And I would like to convert you all later on to something else. I might just save the trait slot for something else. Maybe an upgrade for terrain. That might actually be worth it to do that and wait for then. 153, only 2,500? That, that ain't enough, man. I'm sorry. That ain't enough. You gotta shoot twice as fast, guys. Just be, but same accuracy. All right. What else we got here? Economic advisors, profiteer, caps income. That's not bad. Extra resources. Eventually, I think it will be okay. Population. We make a lot of babies in Texas. Profit here. Ah, let's get some more babies. What do we have for trade? Eh, that does help out. That will help out with trade later on. We need a little bit more water, but that's alright. We losing anywhere yet? Not yet. Healing powder would be good. Great, great, great. And grenades. It's a little bit ahead of time. Try playing attackers. Nothing like close air support to sound American. Oh, yeah. Arm the militias. The production of security. Ooh, stability and horsepower. I like that. So, in times of crisis, we can cast off aspects of the factory line like quality control, safe handling, and operating procedure. All that matters is getting guns out as fast as possible. Actually, that sounds like, even though we get, like, weaponry, and I, I, don't get me wrong, I love the weaponry. It sounds like, actually, let's look, see what you guys have. Like, it sounds like we're trying to get, like, we would lower our reliability of firearms. That sounds nice and all. But, do we really want to lower reliability? I mean... I mean, what am I saying? I'm saying that reliability should reliability go down even though we can't inspect each weapon to be perfect. Man, words are hard sometimes. But that's alright. Y'all got my idea. Hopefully. Probably. We'll see what happens. Still two political power day. Oh, look at that. They are not looking good for their motorized. Yet our motorcycles are looking pretty lickety-split. Oh, we're doing well. One a day? Not bad. 
Feels like a vitamin, right? One a day. Professional volunteers or volunteer professionals, merchant spies, army department. Thank you very much. Actually, for you guys, we have the demos, we got that. How much support equipment do we got? We got some. I would like to throw on some chem companies. How many do we have? We, have enough? we do not have enough. And that'll prevent us from making more divisions for now. Gotta save a little bit of that money right now, don't you know? Mm, actually, I wanna get some more plain stuff. Maybe economic advisor profiteer. Yeah. Let's make more money first. The state relies on initiating force. We ought to make it clear as day, just about everyone or everybody in our borders, that this ain't just an attack on the T double It's an attack on all of us. If we roll roll over to them now, who knows what kind of abuse we'll have to endure in the future. More war sport stability. Oh wow, they're really gunning for us right there. How much manpower do they have left? It looks like even their infantry is looking pretty shoddy. They got plenty of manpower. Oh, wow. Wowzers. Wowzers and bowsers. Alright, so you got plenty enough, so I'm going to actually take you guys back. Come down here. I'm not sure where I'm going to put you guys, though. I want to attack. Probably the best place to attack is actually right here. Especially since we have armor, so I'm going to go right there. There you go. Let them attack the militia over the waterway. They'll do fine on the waterway. Armor department. Naval department. Thank you very much. Level 8 economic. No, not bad. Because we might be able to force a way through here. Maybe. Okay, so can we actually break through here and have you, guys, have you guys go right there? Can they pierce us? Somewhat. Somewhat. Now, if we can't win, then I've got a backup plan. Okay, we got... Oh, uh, y'all hold then. So if that's the case, I'm taking all. Y'all gonna come right here. You're gonna hang out, and these guys are gonna get attacked like crazy. There you go. Follow the apocalypse. If you like to read about these guys, we don't give out handouts for free, but you know what? Let them come. As long as they do good, that's what matters. State relies on initiating force. Petition Texas. The Republic of the Rio Grande aren't the greatest friends with the various powers in Texas, and they'll find themselves even more sympathetic when they see a fresh Texan nation under attack from foreign invaders. We petition quite a few people for aid. Let's see if they, anyone will help us out. Uh, public projects. Uh, public projects. That costs money. Mm, anything really here that we really care about? Not really. We only get 40 every month. That's not bad. Not great. How about upgrades? Not bad. Do we have another general actually under this? Vault City Clear Warren. Somebody. Yeah, let's grab another one. Norton Rosser. More supply consumption, more speed. Alright. Pale Folk. Oh, Pale Folk. Oh, Rooted's not bad. I like Rooted. Power Armor. Out of supply. That's okay. All this stuff. Yeah, we're going to go with Rooted. Cool. Alright, so let's talk about the intelligence agency. At the time of this recording, you guys came up with quite a few interesting names that I actually really, really like. Some of them included uh, the marketing team, or marketing department. Others said, it just works. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, Wild West Hunters, another name was the Corporate Inquisitors. But I think, oh, and another one was New Deal C, only $19.99. But I think a good name for this, especially under Todd Howitzer, would be... This one, because it makes the most sense for Todd Howitzer's little nation here of TAA. The Consumer Surveillance Agency, the CSA, in Texas. Now that sounds very, very appropriate for our nation. The Consumer Surveillance Agency. Oh, I love it. I love it. Only 19.99. And, like you guys recommended, we shall go down mechanized warfare. And we hurt our entrenchment. So that actually might hurt our defense a little bit, but at this point, I think we're doing pretty okay on this. We've only killed off 5,000 Republican Rio Grande members, but hey, things happen. You know, things happen. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Gloria? Firebombs? This war has been going on for far too long. It's about time we resorted to underhanded tactics, such as sneaking in a few corporate arsonists through our consumer surveillance agency to really shake things up in Gloria. Oh, boy. Let's get a little toasty. Ooh, oh, we got Texan volunteers. They each send somebody. Nice. I'm going to sideline you guys, though, because we don't need you right now. Go in and just help out here and defend the capital for now. Kaiser's Legion. Very cool. Major businesses. What do we want? Actually, no. I want to do aircraft. Stonks, bull, maybe bear. We aren't quite sure what an index fund is or even if they exist. Against the advice from our esteemed advisor, Jeremy. This investment has done great in growing the wealth of our nation. Absolutely. I actually want to get that one so we can get some more uh, air stuff done. Because we already have 13 air XP. Air Force Department, not bad. The classic explosives, not bad if I do say so myself. But we're still training our ship. 
They still are getting more divisions just like us. Totally fine with me. Totally, totally fine. Wow, got a lot of... Oh, they're all different type of volunteers, actually. 12 combat width. 12 combat width. It must be all be 12 combat width, then. Very good. As Texas is dying to each other. Hey, that's okay. Whatever. Y'all keep doing you. You guys are stopping attacks. Their, their attacks? Why? If that's the case, I'm actually going to throw you over here, too, then. Oh, over here, then. Firebomb glory, don't mind if we do, and favorable terms. Peace with the Republic of the Rio Grande? Do we really want peace? I'm not feeling that yet. Oh, do we really? I mean, we could take them all out, probably. Do Is there a separate event? I mean, I mean, the war has been raging for almost a year now with no end in sight. We finally have enough to leverage the force of RRG to accept a white peace, freedom at last, freedom forever. If we don't beat them now, they're just going to come back later, right? Then again, we can't fight for freedom, I and mean, we can go to war with them, so... Being at peace now might provide us opportunities to <clears throat> acquire other things. So favorable terms. Uh, you know what? Freedom at last, freedom forever. Sure, why not? And this will make them lick their wounds. And maybe, maybe, we try to get uh, <clears throat> a colony under from someone named Bowen. Sheila, perhaps. Sheila, yeah. We got big ambitions here in Texas. Followers are established soon. Buying enough military sign bonuses. Uh, I forget the math. It's like another 500 manpower if we do this, so... Hmm. 500 manpower? Eh, it's only money. We can use that money for now. It'll be okay. I do wonder if I do lose... Let's grab some of this, too. These Texan volunteers, if we do peace out, so... We always have to be ready. You never know if the uh, Mexican states do want to kill us off, so we have to be ready. But let's go ahead and go to war with these guys, too. And this will give us a good opportunity for us to... Holy crap, that's a long time. For us to begin coring other places so we can add them as a core part of our nation. The battle for Hoover Dam. And coring part of our nation will actually lead me to my next question for you guys and for this campaign. Now, we love Todd Howitzer. We love the TAA estate. We love Laredo. We love Edwards Plateau. But eventually, we're going to run out of room here in Texas. Or at least this part of Texas. How far should we extend our borders? How far should Todd Howitzer's influence be? So really what I'm asking is, how far should this campaign go? Should we acquire all of Texas? Should we put all of Mexico under the jackboots? What should we do? But the followers establish themselves, if you would like to read this, go right ahead. Our relationship with the followers will be mutually beneficial. Very good, very good. And we are now at peace with these... <clears throat> the good folks of Gloria. Hmm. In the meantime, we have to prepare ourselves. That's going to add uh, two more divisions over here. And I'm going to leave, if possible, our militia to defend against the Republic. Because you never know what they might be up to. Actually, just uh, let's read the next focus and we'll keep going on. Just because I want to go to war and get to Pecos, with Pecos Colony before the end of the camp. Or end of the episode, not campaign. Episode. Get more money. Recreational. Nukes. Ooh! Handle the mongers. We get to war, go war goal against the iron mongers. That sounds like we will end up going to war with Santa Ana early if we do that, so we're not going to do that. Refurbish the forge is not bad. Join the TEU. Machiades to Eden. That principle of non aggression. The yellow rose blooms. Hmm. Shall not be infringed. Ooh, power armor. Human can openers. Let's grab that one. Whether instability in the Brotherhood leads to an invading forest clad in power armor, or the Republic starts floating tanks over the river, we ought to have weapons capable of piercing heavy armor, and to that effect, we will focus our percentage D on anti tank weapons. I think what they really mean is R and D, but hey, you never know. Let's see. So you four, you go room, room. You guys are going up that way. And we still have all of our waterway holes covered, so. And if we do that right there, well, hopefully they can't do too much. Actually, is there. Is that. Yes, that is another hole. Hmm. Give me two of you guys. Boom. 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 Co old World Wall holds Richard Anderson. Very nice, very nice. Anything interesting? Nerd Rage? I guess, that's fine. He gets a lot of speed, but more logistics. Okay, as soon as we hire him, he gets ill. Well, thanks a lot, dude. Thanks a lot. Alrighty, tidy. Grab two more dudes. There you go. And we're pretty much ready to go to war with these guys. Hopefully we can push through them. Could use some more manpower. And just in case, we're going to go and grab outside auxiliaries for that. Thank you. Invisible ink. Government cipher schools. Government? Mm, I don't know, man. Government? Mm, state? Mm. 
In the meantime, let's train our soldiers. We could probably really, actually, really, really, really use them. We got enough army XP. You guys looking pretty nice. You know what? If we're going to stick with the whole militia thing, we're going to stick with a lot of militia then. Uh, now, this is really quite an ugly division. I'm going to actually convert you guys back to militia then. Can we actually get up to 20? That's, that's like that. Not, maybe 19 and a half is the best way you can do it. 21. Uh, that kind of sucks. 19 and a half is probably the best thing you can do. Actually, that hurts your organization. Wow, that sucks. That's a lot more suppression, though. Well, I never use them. Let's try them. Why not? Oh, we're out of manpower. Well, go figure. If that's the case, goodbye. Goodbye. And actually, we probably need something for garrisons, right? So you guys will be the garrisons for now. It's alright, we can afford another uh, up level of conscription. Garrisons, there you go. There you go. We still get 2.23 every day, that's not bad. Everyone's training, having a good time. Everyone's kung fu fighting. Let's see. Grab someone. Eh, we'll grab someone once we get more manpower. See that mountain? The wasteland isn't really kind on the soles of shoes and it's constantly got something to wear down the average grunt. Be it rocky terrain, desert, snowstorms, or even radioactive mud. What times are tough, however, though? Always remember the words of our impeccable leader. You see that mountain? You can climb that. Nice. Can I trade for scrap metal, anyone? Really not a lot of options here. Well, I'll take that one. Why not? Actually, using political power. Oh, that's really good. I want to raise... Can we actually raise the conscription level yet again? We can. So, actually, I'm going to wait to do that one, then. That'll be good. And I will eventually actually convert everyone to... Oh, God. What, what the heck? Oh, that sucks. Convert everyone to motorized. Once we get enough energy cells, too, because we got to be careful with that stuff. Very, very nice. That mechanized force is good. Let's go ahead and grab some concentrated assault. More breakthrough. Heart, more heart attack. More cell usage. Actually, you guys, the planes, go and stop doing what you're doing. Y'all did great. Oh, well, good enough for now. Let's see. What are we building? The yeah, military factory is pretty good. If you only need one of these in an Edward's Plateau, that's fine. And it should be an extreme amount of time. Eh, still got quite a while. That's fine. Let's get to a few more focuses first. Oh, Lannis, who did you just take out? Not gonna lie, Lannis is looking pretty good right now. Let's go and raise our conscription level. Thank you, funded militias. Yes, please. Swiss sows. Everything's bigger in Texas. Bigger, better guns. Ooh, we definitely need more support equipment, though. Ooh, my goodness. You're at the top. Oh, yeah, closer support. Yeah, that'd be good, too. There you go. Standardized tools. Let's grab some of that. No. Metalworking. Metalworking would be very, very good. At least we have no resistance to deal with right now. And since we get so much political power, it'll be pretty quick to core part of Pecos. Marfa? Terlingua? Because I don't know if we get cores on all of Texas or not, so I'm, I'm just going to preemptively go ahead and go this path anyways. Alright, guys. We're almost done training. That's good. At least we kept our divisions here, too. That's pretty good, too. Let's go see. Another commander, Thomas Harrison. Hello, Thomas Harrison. Get more attack. Getting more attack is always good. See that mountain? <clears throat> Castle Doctrine? Oh, yes, please. A man ought to be able to protect himself, his house. Protect himself, his house, his wife, if he's under some kind of threat. That's the kind of mindset that we want in the planners, generals, and soldiers we put on the field. That is, this is our home, and we'll be gosh darned that we let someone else take it. A triple bonus, not bad. Norton Rosser. Very nice. Vacuum tubes, not bad. Let's go ahead and grab some primitive radio. Very, very nice. So intelligence agency. Let's see. Next one up will be machine assisted decryption. Just cops a mere 12 caps. How much money do we have? 53. That's not bad. It's not great. And let's help all these guys too. Oh wait. Help settlements. Yes, please. Plating add-ons. Scrap gun trucks. That's a little bit ahead of time. Let's wait a little bit. Let's grab some of this. Plant cultivation is always very bueno. Mm, tax breaks. Political bribes. Political bribes ain't bad, but man. I wonder what the event was for Gloria once we actually peace out with them. Uh, if that's the case, you know what? We can't really afford another one. I'm going to actually not make any more divisions for now. We don't really need to. Actually, what happens if I get rid of you guys? Get a little bit more. And there goes the manpower. Wow. Where's the manpower going to? Reinforcements. Oh, we're not building anything. Reinforcements. Yeah, just... Oh, it's probably the support equipment we put up here. All right, 8%. That's fine. Don't build it right there. That's fine. Roads. Well, how we? Oh, I mean, this is. Oh. 
Oh, we've got to finish the other bonus up top first. That's right, too. Uh, we could do that, but I think roads are actually probably a little bit more important right now. Just because, oh, after the civilian factories, we need this to get more resources. Extract more resources from, resources from where we already have stuff. So, And actually, we probably also want to do... Oh, actually, that's really useful. Get more support equipment. Research speed's not bad. Get some more water. It's going to take a while to do, but that's okay. Only 450 days left, and we almost have our Castle of Doctrine done. And then what you do now shall not be infringed. Now we shall do install toll booths. The business of maintaining roads is a fairly expensive one. Luckily, we can offset the cost by installing toll booths on strategically busy areas to charge people using our property. Ah, genius. Always here to make another buck. And how many more days left do we have for the other... No more days left. Okay, very good. We can only get point... Actually, that's not bad. Point... Zero six a day, roughly. Roughly, that's not bad. And that naval XP is looking pretty darn good. Even during the war, we're still exercising our ships, and they don't even get blown up. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, we actually have a little bit of manpower. Look at that. Finally, we're gonna need that when these guys come and knocking. They have motorized. Ooh, they actually have anti-tank. That's not good. Oh boy. Oh boy. And actually, we got some planes, uh, airbase over there. So let's head on over here, guys. You're looking not too bad. Yeah, we're halfway done with that. And then soon enough, we'll have metal working done as well. How's this looking? Not too bad either. Keep building yourselves up, and we've got more political power. Love it. Killing is my business. That's not bad. Wealth of Nations. I do like that one. But I want to go with this one first, probably. Just so we're prepared and ready to go whenever to get that stuff. Government side from schools. Not bad. And metal working is done. Let's go ahead and grab... Actually, let's grab some of this. Resource production, that'd be pretty good to get. After that, we shall preach success with Jesus. The people ought to know about the all the headway we've made so far. It can make for a serious loyalty boost amongst people who are losing hope in the system. But installing toll booths, it had been another busy few weeks getting rolled around the country in a corporate car. You had spent most of it having lunch with your investors and delivering bribes and inspecting construction crews to make sure there wasn't any funny business afoot. By the time you actually got back to the office, there was a stack of papers piled up on your desk with Todd standing next to it. He bore a big grin on his face, setting his hand on your shoulder and motioning towards the papers expectantly. Something about his touch sent a tingling down your spine. A hint of something you weren't entirely comfortable with. There wasn't much time to think about it, though, as he filled your ears with the booming voice. Spectacular work, champ. You can expect a little bump in your next paycheck. Uh, for the next, for the time being, though, I need you to start sorting through these feeability reports. They're all prospective locations for toll booths and rest stops, and places where we'll charge to use the roads and footpaths owned by the company. I want you to root out anywhere that's next to bandit dens, monster pits, radioactive craters, and anywhere even remotely near my summer homes. A few days from now, we'll have a full office for this kind of thing, but for now, it's on you. Think you can handle it? Of course I can, Mr. Howitzer. Nice. Very good. Even more output. How does this affect us? How oh, we got Howitzer's Charisma. I love it. Let's see. Contractual Society. Love it. Well, Thriving Militia. I don't like that the Justify World Goals Times goes up. Let's get Sweet Little Lies. Own the means of production. Oh, we have Real Loyalists. I don't remember that one. And, what's this? Marginal infrastructure? At least that's looking better now, actually. We're up to 14, not bad. Scavengers, eh, we can go try to scavenge for stuff. You never know what you might find out there. We're still doing this, that's good. Research, six days. Five days left, that's pretty good. So, after plant cultivation, it is to November 2277. We will get crop rotation for even more monthly population. Currently, we get a total of 19 people a month, which is not very much, but that's alright. Machine assisted decryption, very good. Preach success in four days. The TWA's first highway. The kind of roadways we have had available in the past were at best barely paved and at worst rough dirt. With the funds raised and gravel laid, we finally got something resembling a system of highways crossing throughout our territory. Which is probably a good thing. Guns for farmers. Yeah, we should probably do. Oh, we actually sent them to Pecos Colony. Actually, preaching success for this one. Oh, they, if they don't exist, we can get through that really quickly. We get some caps, though. Hmm. Hmm. Regardless, the first results had started coming in from our recent efforts in tackling the crisis, and it's looking very reassuring. Todd has called you into his office to detail how he wants to capitalize on the good press. Maybe a few minutes in, and you've, you had completely stopped paying attention to what he was saying. We were just focused on watching him pace around the room. The way he carried himself was enviable. A confident acting man with very good looks to back it up. It was like a living atlas, constantly working to shrug off all the strife that had settled his administration, his world. 
After not too long, you'd become lost in your silent observations, only for him to refocus his attention to your day's expression. You're getting all this, right? Your heart flutters. Yes, yes, Mr. Howitzer. Oh, oh, Mr. Howitzer. Oh, please. Wow, that's, that's a lot of pee pee. Oh, man. Wealth of Nations, that's probably the way we gotta go. We gotta get more money, man. We gotta get more money. Ooh, naval stuff, that's kind of okay to use. It's not really that great. Major businesses, Freeman's Pictures, I love the infrastructure. Even though we live in Ancapistan. Actually, that's not bad. Production costs for support equipment is actually pretty good. But do I really want to use that? Demo teams, energy weapons. Oh, production costs goes down, but less attack, but less reliability. That's not really worth it. I like more infrastructure, though. But I'm going to go with docks, because I almost never choose docks. Primitive radio. Ah, go ahead and do that. Simple circuitry. That's, a, that's almost not even ahead of time at all. Cool. Concentrate assault, and then we'll go with motorized deployment. So our army, entire army, gets more soft attack and speed. I love the speed. Where is left? Resource production. We're gonna go ahead and grab output. Thank you. There goes Black Canyon. Oh, there we go. And government-assisted encryption. Oh, that's a nice amount of manpower. We're still mobilizing even more. I love it. The first highway. Don't mind if we do. With the trains running, the travelers charged, and the cities connected, it was time to unveil the grand jewel of the Greg Howitzer Memorial Highway, named after Todd's late father. This particular strip of pavement was with a state-of-the-art, four-laned roadway that ran the entire length of the country, and was dotted with all manners of road signs, toll booths, and rest stops. The whole opening ceremony went off without a hitch, and in no time you were back at the office celebrating after over a few drinks as the evening faded into dusk. It occurred to you that you saw him differently than you had when you first walked into his office. Between the great joys of admiration brought you, and the countless number of times you had gotten lost in his bravado, his looks, his results, occurred to you that... You may very well have become infatuated with your boss. This presented a few dozen issues, the first of which being if he ever swung that way, which bounced around your head like caps in a bucket. It was only when you were struck with a moment of clarity that cut through the panic. If you didn't say something now, you may never have a better chance of courting him. Your palms began to sweat, your face heats up, and your heart thumps like mad as you make your final decision. Todd, I think I love you. Is that is that a microtransaction? Oh, okay. Modern infrastructure. Cool. Let's continue with... I'm not being fringed. We could we could really use a little bit of a spot of clean water here. Everyone drinks. Well, everyone drinks water anyway. Well, sometimes. The problem with most of the water in any nearby bodies is that it's completely mixed with radiation. A little effort trying to clean up both well and river water should yield modest results. As long as it doesn't cost us too much. We could use a little bit more war support though. It's not looking great. The other command power actually goes down. How much do we get every day then? We get 0.58. That is not ideal. Hmm. And if we, over here, I'm not too worried about this. Over here, four divisions might be able to be enough to hold out. So I'm going to send you guys back here just in case. Infantry should be able to hold out, even though they're volunteers. I can just find nothing. Get out of my office. That actually works really, really well for playing as Todd Howitzer. Yeah, he literally has an office, so. Yeah, manual prospectors. Now, I, I don't have confidence in finding other stuff for now, so. No training time. Wasteland survival training time for more organization. And better just if I wore times. Bone dancers on Kimmelt Station. Not bad. And Thomas Harrison. Does anyone else need upgrades? Anyone need a train? Yeah, there is a few individuals here. Okay, you're done training. Give about five seconds and then we'll go to war. Machine assisted encryption. Oh, we're out of money. Well, ah, that's not good. Mm. Well, down and invest more. Hey, level nine, not bad. Pretty good, I'd say. Three, two, good enough for me, hopefully good enough for you. Well, we don't have any allies. Now, they immediately start attacking us here. You guys, go and help defend for now. See what happens. See what happens. Hopefully, we can wear these guys down quite a bit. Petition for technology. And is this going up some more? It is. And we love it. Actually, do they have any airplanes against us? Because the AI does use uh, gliders from time to time. No, they don't. Oh, they're finally attacking over here, too. And we're starting to lose down here. Well, that isn't good. Throw in some infantry. They don't have entrenchment, but that's okay. So we've lost 43, they've lost 96. About double our losses. Oh! Los Ejocito Mexicano has declared war on the Republic of the Rio Grande. Well, isn't that a coinky dink? Isn't that quite particular? Industrial water deradiation? How about we get extra or fun extraction firms? While we are under the yoke of the RRG, we relied mostly on them for resource imports to meet our factory needs. This is, of course, no longer a practical option, so we have to take on, on the burden of extracting our own resources. So be it. We shall privatize it. Oh, look at that. That is not looking good, so let's do that too. Over here. 
We could do that. Let's see. Land auction we're doing fine and dandy with. Vehicles. Salvage cars. Let's go and grab that. That'd be good. And that should be enough to help defend for now. Let's get to one more focus before we end the episode. Do we have enough money for something else yet? Yes, we do. Encryption, decryption. You know what? We've got two guys here. Let's build an intel network and pick this colony. I almost never do this, too. I'm doing a lot of things I almost never, never ever do. Hmm. Are we still losing here? If we are, I will call up some militia. Yes, we are. Okay. You guys, I'm going to call you guys up immediately. Because you guys are actually, have actually quite a bit of good stuff on you guys. Alright. Supply-wise, resources, equipment, words are hard. Yes. Hello. Militia 2. Okay, not too bad. We could use some anti-tank. I don't think we are actually... Are we making anti-tank? We're making roads, and that's nice. Production. Maybe I should research anti-tank first. We got plenty of water, though. Yeah, maybe we should get some anti-tank. Losses, 200. About 212, that's about that's what, kind of, what I kind of figured. And they can pierce us, obviously, which is not very good. But how strong are these guys? About a thousand manpower left. That's not too bad. We'll get them done. Get them all nice and squared away. Don't make me call up more militia. I will call up more militia if I have to. Actually, for now, go ahead and do this. That'd be good. Rebuild on the wasteland. Motorized deployment. Great. Let's go and grab some armored assaults for tanks. Because I will be researching more and more for APCs and such. As time goes on. Give me half of you guys. And actually, I want to throw you guys right here as well. Well. Actually, you can head on back that way. That's fine. But... I'm going to throw you guys here too. Because these guys are... These guys are vicious. Quite vicious. So, they, we can't pierce them. Yeah, i got to research anti-tank next. That'd be very good. Machine assisted encryption. Distribute pit boys. That'd be good. These guys do hit hard. They do hit very, very hard. Let's go ahead and grab mercenary training. That'd be good. And get those guys in there. That's nice. That's very nice. 310. Cool. Attraction firms. And let's go and grab the roots of the yellow rose. Our industry and prosperity are our roots to this world and our claim... And our claim the land, and they're in better shape than they've ever been. Today is a good day for the TWA, and tomorrow's looking bright as well. So, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Uh, if you liked the video, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know how far should this campaign go, and I'll see all y'all tomorrow when we will defeat Pecos Colony. Maybe end up going to war with either Santa Ana because he's winning, or maybe the RRG. Thanks for watching, though. Have a great and Capistan rest of your day.